One of the best things about Notion is having a master task database that you can literally show anywhere and everywhere that you want. Stick around and I'll show you how. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. For free Notion templates, check out the link in the description below. If you look at the majority of Notion users, they have a master task database of some sort that holds all of their to-dos and the tasks that they need to do. Most of those databases will have loads of relations and roll-ups and text boxes, all filled with information that helps them get things done. In this video, I'm literally going to go over the bare essentials to have a master task database. So once you've created your table view of your master task database and you've added in some tasks, the first thing you really need to do is put a date in there, the date you're going to do the thing. Once you've added in your due date, you could add a due date, you could use a review date, which I'll quickly show you, which is essentially a formula. You put date add, the date, add as many days as you want, or months or weeks, it's up to you, and then that will be in there. This is just an example. So you can have a task you need to get done, but then you may need to review that task once you've completed it. Maybe it's a follow-up for tracking how well a social media post did. Now, the reason having a master task database is so good is because you can create a linked database. So creating that linked database essentially makes a copy. Now we can hide the information we don't want, we can add filters in that we do want, and everything will stay the same in that master database. So we've added a filter for tasks that are only for today. If we go up to that master task database and add in a done checkbox, because the linked database is the exact same, that tick box is still working. So we can go into that filter, filter for done tasks, filter for tasks that are not ticked, and it will only show me the tasks that are due for today and that are not done. And we can create as many linked databases as we want, really. So what I'm going to do is create another one. So this time I'm going to have a different filter. So we're going to use that review formula property as a filter. We're going to ask if it is today. And that's only going to show me the tasks that I need to review today. But I don't really need to see if it's done or not. And I don't need to see the due date because I'm reviewing it. So in theory, I should have done them. Now what I'm going to do is turn them into pages so they're easier to manipulate around the page. So I'm going to put the two linked views at the top and I'm going to turn them back into inline tables. So you can now see all the tasks that I need to get done today are on the left, all the tasks I need to review today are on the right. And that master task list is now a page. So I could put that in my sidebar and get rid of it or I could leave it there. Now whenever I add a task in either of these linked databases, there's certain information that will automatically be put in. So for the linked database on the left, it will automatically put in today's date because that is the filter and that will add it automatically to that master task database. For those of you like me that like having a clean dashboard or a clean space, you can use a toggle block, you can drag the tables into the toggle block, and then you can essentially hide that table view. So you, whenever you need to see it, you can click on that toggle and it will show you the database that you're looking for. If you want to have a formula that automatically tells you when a task is overdue or whether you need to do it, check this video out over here and I'll see you there.